Hello, welcome back. In this lecture, we will discuss about Transmetas Crusoe processor. This Transmetas Crusoe processor uh, is uh, depending upon very long instruction board uh, model. The Crusoe processor is very simple, high performance VLIW. Very long instruction board is simply called as VLIW. Processor with two integer parts, one floating point unit and one memory load store uh, and one branch unit. Its instruction is divided as parts, as two integer parts, one floating unit, one memory load store unit and one branch, four parts. Long instruction word uh, is called as molecule as we, we all uh, can easily understand. An atom is a single specific. Multiple atoms, more than three, four, is called as a molecule. So here, all the instructions are made very long. Very long risk type instructions are given to the transmitter processor. These very long risk type instructions are executed parallelly in the blocks of the processor. It is uh, a software realization of uh, 8086 or any 86x86 86 processors uh, which will act as a x86 processor and saves your power. So that is the beauty of this transmitter screws processor. It's a very less power consuming processor. So the long instruction word called molecule can be of 64 or 128 bits long which can be divided into four parts that is two integer parts one floating point one memory load store unit and one branch unit all atoms get executed parallelly it will be a molecule contain up to four risk like instructions called atoms all these four instructions called atoms are executed in parallel molecule by molecule in an order molecules are executed this transmitter uh, processor uh, depending upon a software called as code morphing software cms in this code morphing software you can see this is how it is divided the outer part is divided as operating system application part and bias part BIAS is its uh, chip specifications, operating systems is its CMS processor, CMS software and applications. Go, go more close to the processor actual core. This is code morphing software. The role of this code morphing software is the very long instructions are molecule by molecule which is given to this x86 software are converted into uh, atom uh, molecules uh, sequentially arranged and made into atoms and these are assigned with the processor which will execute the instructions the final part is VLIW engine which will take handle the instruction execution part the software known as CMS that surrounds the VL, VLIW hardware processor is transmitter screws processor. The software layer duplicates and decouples x86 instruction set from the underlying processor hardware. The instruction set is now converted to this software. This CMS is a dynamic translation system of a program that compiles the instruction of this x86 instruction set into VLSI, VLIW processor. The x86 instructions are assigned or uh, can be converted to VLIW instructions using CMS software. 
so the CMS is the only program that is written directly for VLIW processor. CMS is the only program that is written directly for VLIW processor. All the other softwares such as basic input output system BIOS, OS operating system and other application programs are written using ISA only. Any change in VLIW ISA calls for a change in CMS itself. So these are about a few points about CMS. Now let us understand how the instruction uh, uh, word VLIW is divided. As just now we have discussed, VLIW is based on a 128-bit molecules. All the instructions of ISA, that is x86 processor instructions, are divided into 64 or 128 bits long. Each 128 bit long instruction is called a molecule. This molecule is a combination of minimum 4 atoms. Each atom is a risk, risk instruction. Now this molecule have 4 parts in its instruction. One is floating addition, second one integer addition, load store and branching instructions. This is floating point unit supports floating addition. This is integer ALU supports integer addition, load store unit and branch unit. This is the structure of a VLIW very long instruction word. And now the architecture OS architecture is that in 8086 or 80186 x86 instructions are supplied to this transmitter processor the first part is super scalar decode units this super scalar decode units decodes the given instructions and forms as molecules that will be given to the translate units which will translate this super scalar architecture code into this micro instructions. These micro instructions are now called as micro operations. Each micro operation is given to each block of the transmitter cruiser processor. All these atoms, all these atoms are executed parallelly and given out to a dispatch unit which is called as in order retire unit this is completely about the processor and its architecture software architecture and the other things if you can see the differences between uh, super scalar transmitter processor Instructions are fetched from the memory and decoded into micro operations which are then recorded by an out of order dispatch hardware and fed to the functional units of the par for parallel execution. This is super scalar. This what the role of this transmitter screws processor is translates an entire group of exchange instructions into at once and saves the resulting translation in a translation cache and in subsequent executions. That CMS, the system skips the translation step and directly executes the existing optimized translation. Here, the superscalar what it does the out of order dispatch unit has a translate and schedule instructions every time these are executed and it must be done very quickly. That is about super scalar. The power dissipation occurs each time when instructions are executed. 
to overcome that here what we can do the generated code the generated code of cms is can be better optimized resulting in less number of instructions in the generated code this speeds up and also reduces the power dissipation this is how uh, transmitters processor can be used to have less power consumption and software realization of a x86 processors i hope you understood thank you